Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are brand new, I'm Candice and welcome to my journey. So I actually wanted to do a video today because it has been a while since I did kind of like a sit down update video and I know a question that I get asked a lot by most of you is how am I adjusting to being a single mom? So that is something that I have unfortunately had to endure. I know that there are so many single moms out there, especially there are many single moms by choice, which is a very brave and selfless um, decision to make. It is very, very difficult to be a single mom. Um, I always say that God just has a special blessing, special bag of blessings set aside just for the single moms because y'all, let me just tell you. But I just wanted to sit sit down um, and just talk about that really briefly. And y'all know every time I say really briefly, the video ends up being super long. So I'm going to really try to be mindful of the time today and just keep it straight to the point. So obviously, I have been on the single mom journey for about a, a year and a half now, just after my divorce. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Um, and it's tough. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Um, and it's one of those things that you just have to, <laughs> you just have to ask God to give you strength or wherever your higher power, higher being is that you glean from, you have to, you just have to, let me just tell y'all, you have to lean on, on them and ask and pray. And um, you have to have a village. I'm just, Anyway, so I have been on this journey for a little bit over a year and a half now, and obviously Victor was very young when um, um, I got divorced. So fortunately, she was young enough to where it's not having a big impact on her where, you know, if she was like seven or 10 or 15, she would have all these years with her mom and dad in the same home. Whereas now it's almost like, a normal thing like okay she goes here and sees daddy she goes here and sees mommy so but now that she's getting a little bit older she's a little bit more aware of like especially children who have both parents in the home she'll say you know I wish I had mommy and daddy wish I had mommy and dad I'm like well you do have a mommy and daddy and she's like no you know together or whatever and I'm like no honey so um so it's one of those things that I don't think anything can prepare you for it takes a different level of strength and patience and humility because you have to I'm not gonna say you have to for me in my journey I have to lean on my village I have to have people I can say hey I need help hey can you watch victory hey can you help can you pick up victory can you whatever it is I might need because here I am in this new place in my life where I'm juggling working for the first time and being a mom and I'm trying to figure it all out and so sometimes it's like oh some things overlap and I can't obviously be in two places at one time so I will just say that in this season I have learned how to ask for help and I think that's something that I've struggled with for a very long time because I've always been like oh I got it I got it I got it all together I, I got it all figured out you know but it's really one of those things that I had to learn how to ask for help and how to accept help when someone offers and I'm overwhelmed and I say, oh, you know what? I'm good, girl. I got it. Like, no, thank you. Thank you for offering to help because I need it, you know? So I think it's one of those things in this season that has taught me how to accept the love and support of those who are considered to be in my village because they have my interest and victory's best interest at heart so learning how to accept the help learning how to ask for help um i think this time has really helped me my faith grow because it has been a time where i've really just had to pray and say lord help like what am i supposed to be doing how am i supposed to do this how how and i know there are women who have more than one child and who have been a single mom for much longer than I have and I never want to diminish any of that because I'm just still learning and growing and figuring things out but I feel like this this season of my life has been a season of help <laughs> like Lord help me where are you what do I do how do I do this and just praying for strength because there are days when I am literally 
have reached the peak of an exhaustion that I never thought I would ever experience. And so I absolutely love being a mom. I absolutely love this new season that I am even I'm in, even though it's very, very trying and challenging. I love this season that Victory's in. She's four years old now. And so she's, she's inquisitive and she's talkative and she's learning and she's asking questions and she's helpful. And sometimes she's trying to be helpful, but she's not really helpful, but I still have to be patient. Like when she's trying to help me cook and I'm looking like, whoo, I could have been done with this honey, but she wants to help me season and stir and pour. And so this has just been a time where I've just had to really be patient and pray and ask God for strength and for um, wisdom. I mean, wisdom and strength, I think are the key words. Ask God for wisdom. How, how do I do this? How do you want me to raise? this little girl that you have given me now that I'm on my own. How do you want me to approach this new season that I'm in? That is obviously no surprise to you, even though it's a surprise to me. And strength, asking for strength. Lord, I'm tired. Lord, I'm weary. Lord, please show me a sign that you have not left me, that you have not forsaken me. So I think that has been a lot of this season. It's just praying and asking why and asking for help and um, you know, one day at a time. And sometimes we say one day at a time, but sometimes you have days where you literally can only take it a minute at a time, an hour at a time, because it's just so overwhelming at times. And you're just like, whoa, what? You know, so um, I'm actually doing very well, despite the circumstances I am, honey, I am picking myself up, dusting myself off, and I am doing the thing. I am telling y'all, sometimes we get discouraged because where we are is not where we want to be at a certain point in our life. But also I have to look back to where I was. So if I look back to where I was and where I am now, I'm like, wow, look, look at what you've done, girl, you know. But if I look at where I am now compared to where I thought I would be, then I start getting discouraged. So I'm learning to practice gratitude and just literally say thank you. Thank you that I have a place to live because for a moment in my life, for a season in my life, that seems impossible. Thank you that I have a vehicle because for a season in my life, I didn't. And it's felt, it felt, it felt like, you know, it felt like, it felt like it was impossible for me to get back on my feet and, and become, come to this place of independence that I have been working so hard to get to. So I think this season has shown me and taught me a lot about myself. Like, y'all remember I showed y'all my tattoo um, a couple years ago. I got resilience tattooed on my finger. I actually got some other finger tattoos, but I got resilience tattooed on my finger, not because I thought it was cool and because it was like, oh, okay. It's really like it's shown me how resilient I am and how when I've been told no and when I felt I've hit a wall or I'm at a dead end, I found a way to say, you know what, Lord, show me the way. Like, all right, we're going this way. Okay, I thought we were going this way, but I'm gonna follow you. And um, that has not, it has not failed me. One thing I can say to anyone else who may find themselves in this season, God, I'm sorry for y'all that don't believe in God or religion or Christianity, y'all can just fast forward or whatever, or go back or stop or go somewhere else at this point. Um, God never fails. He never, ever, ever fails. And he never, let me tell y'all, I'm gonna spoil it for you. He never comes when you want him to come. <laughs> You'll be looking like, all right, today will be a good time for you to show up, Lord. Like, I need some money because the bills do, or I need something because baby need a new pair of shoes, you know. And God, he never comes when you're expecting him to come but he always comes on time. And I'm like, how does that even, that doesn't even make any sense when you say it out loud. Like he's not, he's not on the time that I thought he would come, but he's always on right on time. And so there have been situations in my life where I'm looking at in the natural, like one and one, not equal and two. And I don't know how I'm gonna do these things that I need to do for me and my daughter, but some kind of way, God just comes in at the time that he knows he needs to come in and every and makes everything all right. And so that's one thing I can say is we, we're going to trust in God and we're going to believe God and know that he's never going to fail us, know that he's never going to leave us. 
but know that he's not going to come as soon as you say, all right, come on. All right. I need you right now. And he's like, okay, cool. Bloop. You know what I mean? It's always like he going to be right on time, on his time. And so I think this season has just taught me to trust, to have faith, to trust in myself and my strength and, um, just to continue to sow seeds, sow seeds and, be and believe for a harvest when the harvest time comes. So, um, you know, I, I have not talked publicly about the custody arrangement that I have for Victor because I'm trying to think of a way to say it nicely, but it's just, it's not, it was not fair. It was not, um, something that I should have been given. So basically Victory spends two weeks with me in Michigan in two weeks with her dad, um, which is just too much for a four-year-old to travel every two weeks. And um, we've been doing this almost two years now. So on top of being a single mom and navigating the struggles and the challenges of that, I've also had to navigate the struggles of being a single mom with a long distance parenting plan, which has even made things even more difficult for me. Um, more challenging, which is because it's kind of, it comes with its own challenges. It comes with having to afford travel, um, having to be away from my daughter for extended periods of time, having to, you know, having her miss things that she, you know, a birthday party or whatever, something special that's going on here and she's not here with me, um, a holiday or whatever. So those things are things that I've had to really learn how to cope with and once again trust God and say I know that this is not in my daughter's best interest and when the time is right God is going to come through because he never fails and he's always on time even though for me I wish this would have been changed a year and a half ago but he's still on time because he's going to make it right in his time and so I just have to trust and believe and so um I think that's, I mean, I think that's it, you guys. I am doing well. I am trying. I know y'all don't, I know y'all don't believe me because I say this every video. I am trying my hardest to get these videos to be more consistent, but I am juggling working. I am juggling businesses and family and relationship. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm juggling being a single mom. And so I want to share so much more but i also want to be careful about what i share and when i share because you know people nosy so but i have been wanting to do this type of video because this is the number one question that people have been asking me is how are you how is it being a single mom how are you coping with being a single mom how are you doing and honestly i'm just taking it a day at a time every day i wake up and I pray, I have a prayer corner in my room that I go and I pray and I meditate and I just, for the, for the day, I say, Lord, give me what I need today. Give me what I need today because if I think about the rest of the week or the rest of the month, I'm going to be overwhelmed. So give me what I need today. Give me the strength I need to for the task that I need to complete today. Give me what I need to, to be the best mother that I can be after I've worked all day, after I've probably been up late at night working or doing working on something um waking up early be being the best mother that I could be for her and being attentive and being all the things that she needs so I think it's just really about me starting my day with meditation with prayer and um just trusting God y'all and I said it one um I said it one time I was like I had to trust God when when I, I couldn't afford to do anything else like I literally couldn't afford to do anything but trust God. And that's really what I have been doing this whole season of single mama hood, single mama, whatever you want to call it. It's just trusting God when that's all I have is, is, is my faith. And so it has not failed me yet. It has not been difficult. Yes, it has. Scratch that. It has not been easy. It has been very difficult. Um, but I'm grateful for my, my village, my tribe. I'm grateful for those who encourage me and those who help me with victory when I need help and those who can recognize when I need just a little break and can sit with victory for a minute and just let me just have a woosah moment or get dinner ready or get whatever it is I need done. So I'm grateful for that. I'm leaning on my village. I'm leaning on my faith in God 
and um, whatever situation you may find yourself in. If you are in a newly single mama role, um, just know that God never fails. He never fails and he, he's always on time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I try not to ramble too much. Um, I just wanted to, to show you guys that I'm doing well and I am rocking the single mama thing out and uh, me and Victory are just enjoying our time that we have together, making the most of our, our time and making the most of the memories we can make. And I'm just loving, loving being her mom. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you are not yet a part of my family, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I think it's over here or maybe it's over here. I can't remember. It's been so long since I recorded a video. Um, hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to short, join my family. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Um, um, send me an email, maybe hit me up on social media. Make sure you guys follow me on social media because that's where I post some updates, more updates than here. But uh, thank you guys so much for following along. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll catch you next time. Bye. If you are not a part of my family, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of the videos that I will be posting as it relates to my journey. Be sure to like and share this video as well.